A growing number of countries are practicing internet censorship, and they're practicing censorship with increasing technological sophistication. If you're in China now, you can't get to Twitter, you can't get to YouTube, you can't get to Facebook. If you Google for Tiananmen Square, uh, the connection will hang up. This is the, the dark future we want to avoid, uh, the future in which the internet, rather than being a tool for freedom, is only a pipeline for propaganda and the official party line. We're developing a system called Telex that tries to provide a state-level response to state-level internet censorship. So the way Telex works, you are sitting in a censored country trying to access some banned website. The Telex software on your computer instead makes a connection to a non-blocked website uh, somewhere in another country. What's really happening behind the scenes is the Telex software adds um, a kind of invisible marker to the connection that is a signal uh, to another piece of technology that we've placed into the Internet's network infrastructure in non-censoring countries. And when they see a connection to a non-censored website, um, that has one of these invisible tags from the Telex client software, they take the connection and reroute it to the censored site the user is really trying to access. The end goal of all of this is to make connecting to the internet an all or nothing proposition for censoring countries. They can either allow traffic to go out of their country and know that people are going to be able to circumvent whatever censorship controls they have in place, or they can pull the plug entirely. That would be a very high price to pay for just about every country that's interested in censorship. Someday in the future, I envision partnerships with many large ISPs and throwing the switch on telex stations uh, at a large number of, of high-speed backbone links. Um, at that point, we'll really be accomplishing our vision uh, of uh, making internet access an all-or-nothing proposition for censoring countries.